Westinghouse came out to Colorado with Tesla. And they set up a thing in Western Colorado, Ames, Colorado, near Telluride. They had a stream and they used it to generate electricity and they transmitted this electricity the unheard of distance of seven <coughs> miles to a mine. <laughs> And they were able to transmit it. They, they took it, they generated it, they stepped up the voltage, they transmitted it, they brought the voltage down, and they ran pumps. And that was crazy, to be able to transmit electricity seven miles. Edison's power, no way could have done it. And then they showed you could make this happen. It happened in Telluride. It was right here in Colorado. Here's the thing. The generators, the power station that did this, the first commercial long-distance power transmission, still operates. And the reason they operate is Excel Energy owns this plant and they still run it because this was made before any other power stations. This was like the first. So it's got to be able to run all by itself. The other power stations, like the ones that provide most of our power, which is the Rawhide power plant up towards Wyoming, if you have coal-fired uh, electricity, that power plant uses electromagnets. It's got to have electricity to make electricity. So if the grid goes dark, that power plant can't do anything. But guess what? This one can, because it can make electricity all by itself. So if the whole grid goes dark and Colorado goes dark, somebody gets a call in the middle of the night, run down to the power station, manually turn the valve to let the water in, run the generator, ship that power downhill, and let's bootstrap the system. Seriously, so Excel keeps it running. They get money from Homeland Security <laughs> to do this. Is that crazy? Now, the original plant that was built here in the late 1800s to demonstrate the superiority of AC electricity. Here's the thing though. There's got to be another way. We have to choose between safe and commercially viable. And Nikola Tesla said, oh, no, I don't think so. This is a false choice. There's got to be another way. I want to have safe and being able to transmit power. And Nikola Tesla, this is an engraving of him from the time. Got a couple of light bulbs in his hand, and I, I got this out of a book, and it said, he brandished the two tubes in his hand like two glowing swords. Oh, yes. And that is Betsy. What's making the electricity that's making those light? A Tesla coil. And we just happen to have a whole bunch of them back here. We're going to start with this one. This is our first Tesla coil right here. I'm going to go forward, and we're just going to make a dark screen that gives me just a little bit of light. And let's bring the lights down, if we could. Bring them all the way. And I'm going to turn on this one. This is a little device we call the mother of all plasma balls. Because it's like ones you maybe have seen in the store, but it's big. Oh, yeah, and have this Betsy. Look at these two tubes I'm holding in my hand. And they light up. And the electricity inside there is AC, extremely high voltage, 70,000 volts. But it's turning on and off, not like our power, 60 times a second. It's turning on and off 10,000 times a second, which allows it to do things regular electricity can't. Specifically, it can go through the air. These are not connected to the ball. And it can go through my body. Look at this circuit. It's going from the electrode in the center of the ball, through that streamer, into this mercury-filled tube, into my hand, and into the ground. And so I'm making an electric circuit here. And it can do better than this. If I take my hand and put it on top of the ball, I'll use the neon tip for this one. It's prettier. And then Zach pulls on to the other side. We can make a little electric circuit here, and it's going through us. Oh, and we can do better than that. I need a volunteer to help me out with this one. Come on up. I would like you to take your left hand and put it on top of the ball, and then turn around. Take your other hand and put it on here. And it's going right through her, okay? This is not going through the air. That's yeah, right. Hillary. Hillary, sorry. Got the first letter right. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going, through Hillary, it's going through Hillary's body. And we can make a circuit. You two seem friendly. Would you mind holding hands? <laughs> Hillary's going to take her hand off the ball and hold hands. And then you're going to grab a hold of the light bulb. Uh-oh. Not such a good conductor. That's kind of an interesting thing. But there we go. <laughs> The spark out. And that's going through it. We can make a chain, unless we have somebody who's not such a great conductor. We can make <laughs> people to make this go. Cool, and thank you very much. Thank you very much. So it's safe, travels through the air, goes through your body. Here, and, and Tesla said, let's have a device that generators like this, let's just generate electricity. We don't need wires. This goes through the air. You want to turn your lights on at night? Done. You just have to have an antenna, basically, and you can pull
pull powder out of the air, and you can light, you can light up the night that way. Now, if you make the voltage, this ball is filled with neon, uh, helium. It's filled with helium. And it's going to make sparks in the helium. If you have higher voltage, you can make sparks that go actually out into the air. And this one right here, and we can bring the lights up for just a second. I'm going to show people how this works. <coughs> this is a power pole transformer. 